weather from where you live. Well, speaking of long range forecasting, the uh, blog uh, post is up right now. I've got the short, the medium, and the long range outlook all updated. I've been working on that since earlier this evening. So everything's right there right now. You want to check that out. Kind of gives a timetable on when we may get better potential getting some soaking rain around here. But in the meantime, it's still very dry, worsening drought. We're in a moderate to severe drought. It's going to hang around for a while. If we don't get the rain in here, uh, we could end up as, as a, one of the driest Octobers on record. We've only had a trace so far. The upper jets way north right here. So even though it's warm during the day and the jets way north, though, remember the air is dry and the night length is getting longer. So we've got more time to cool off. So cool nights, very warm days, and all the deep moisture is way south. This is Oscar. Nadine's already made landfall down here in Belize and will reemerge in the Pacific and Oscar will kind of curve back out to sea. So we're lucking out with these two tropical systems, but there could be a couple more brewing closer to Halloween deep in uh, uh, near the Yucatan Peninsula and down in the Southern Caribbean. For us, this little weak system and a cold front here all mean more clouds coming in Tuesday, Tuesday night and a couple isolated showers, and that's it. We're going to have to wait a while to get any good coverage of rainfall in here. It's a 44 for your low tonight. Near 40 to the mid 40s should do it for low temperatures area wide. So sweaters for the kids in the morning, but it's short sleeves or even shorts by afternoon. And the fire risk will be high for many days to come. The burn bans are up over most counties in our viewing area, the exception Tippecanoe, Montgomery, Clinton, and also Carroll counties not in the burn ban right now. 78 to 82 tomorrow, wall to wall sun, 80 in Greater Lafayette. The record's 86 set in 1953. Low 80s Fowler, Remington up here in Madariville, 81 in Monticello, 80 at Flora, and we're pushing 80 at Kokomo. Tuesday, the clouds will begin to come in, increase and thicken, so the sun dims a little, just a hair cooler. Cool 47 in the morning, and then that wind really cranks up. High fire danger in the afternoon, and a 78 degree high in Greater Lafayette with 76 to 80 doing it for highs area wide. Mind you, the normal highs are about 58 to 63. Large future cast to get the whole pattern here. Again, Oscar goes this way. One little front comes through Tuesday night, just an isolated shower or two here, then a pocket of colder air comes in Wednesday. We could have a frost on Thursday morning, but then we warm right back up after that. But this front here moving in from the north, you'll see it right here. That one could bring a few widely scattered thunderstorms on Wednesday, and this could be a tropical system. So if you're looking for just widespread good soaking rainfall, it's likely going to be like after Halloween into early November before we see that start to happen. After the warmth, it's a 58 Thursday, a freeze on Friday morning. And then we're back to the 70s, isolated shower Sunday, and then a few widely scattered storms next Wednesday. <laughs>